Hey everyone, this is Polly. Uh, we're farmingrevealed.com, and uh, I figured I would do a video on my rose bush that uh, I planted about three years ago. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's looking very nice, full, and just full of roses all over the place. And I bet sh bet you cannot imagine what I use on it well if you said worm castings you're right I have uh, I, I haven't really invested a whole lot into this thing you may be wondering why does it look like that <laughs> well because I just let nature take its course I don't uh, I don't do any pruning um, I just I just let it grow the way it wants to grow. I don't really have time to do a lot of pruning and uh, to let it take care of itself. Um, I mean, I don't have time to take care of it. It just takes care of itself. But you can see here, um, there's a lot of blooms. Look, this one's got four on it, five on it. One has bloomed and it's got uh, four others about to bloom. And uh, here's some more rosebuds getting ready to come out and some have already lost its petals but uh this thing is just i love it every year and it it stays full of roses every year so what do i do how do i how do i use uh the worm castings basically what i do in in the uh, beginning of the spring is I'll just peel this away if there is any. Uh, this is hay, by the way. I use hay as mulch, and I've got a, a claw rake, a hand claw rake that I'll I'll dig down about uh, two to three inches, and then all around the base here I apply the worm castings, and I apply minerals, which is uh, azomite, uh, glacial rock dust, and DE. Um, and how much minerals do I use? I use equal parts, uh, azomite and glac glacial rock dust, and about uh, half of that would be diatomaceous earth. Um, so that gets some real good silica down into the soil, uh, tons of trace minerals, plus the calcium. Uh, the azomite is great stuff, I love it. It's got 70 plus trace minerals. And as you can see, this plant is just very healthy. Uh, and goats wanting to be milked, as, as you can hear. <laughs> um, but then, anyway, and, and on my castings, I just apply a good, uh, maybe about an inch all the way around. And that's it. Covered up with uh, hay as mulch because you want to keep it moist. You don't want your worm castings to die. Those are microbes, and you want to keep them uh, moist, staying alive so that they can uh, feed the the plant for uh, the rest of the season and oh also I do apply the aerated worm tea and I just apply that maybe three times four three or four times throughout the year and you can tell I just don't do much pruning at all any you know my chickens they love it because right back here, there are no leaves. You know, they jump up, they jump up and they grab the leaves and they, they eat the petals. And there's no petals here. And over here, tons of petals. So yeah, my chickens love it. And they're, they're getting fed good here. They're getting some greens uh, and some pinks. Um, but anyway, I, I thought you guys might be interested because I always uh, do garden stuff and uh always you know the food the edibles but i figured hey you know what i also uh put my worm castings on this and worm tea on this um, maybe you guys would be interested in ornamentals uh this is another one uh these actually smell much nicer uh what i'll do here is i'll save the seeds from the roses and some of you may be asking well how do you do that uh, 
let's pick a good one here. Right there's the rose hip, and that's where the seeds are located, is right there in the rose hip. That bulb right there. And after you want to wait, you know, till the insects have come and pollinated so that you know you're going to get a, a good seed. And see, this one's already been pollinated, hopefully. Uh, you want to wait till the insects are out real good, full force, before they, uh, or before you collect the uh, seed out of this, because you just want to absolutely make sure that it's been pollinated or else uh, you're not going to have a good seed. Uh, so what you do is you'll take it off and you just bust this, this part open and the seed will be in the rose hip, uh, which this is full of vitamin C and it does cure many things like uh, scurvy and, and whatnot. Uh, and you can eat them. Uh, but anyway, when you extract the seed out, you want to trick it into thinking that it's winter. So you'll put a seed in a jar or a baggie and uh, let it stay in the freezer for about uh, two months. And that just thinks, all right, we've gone through a hard freeze. And then come spring, then you can plant it. So anyway... Uh, it's a beautiful rose bush, and I owe it all to the worm castings and the aerated worm tea. And, of course, these guys. Give a good hand for these guys right here, because they are my poop factory. And my worms get a good feeding of goat manure. Isn't that right, Reese? Yeah, good girl. Okay, well, this is Polly, and... I'll see you next time.